Hey everyone, welcome to my Cavalcade of News segment where we discuss the latest in superhero related content including movies, comics, games, and more. It's not going to be a long video because this video is not going to cover that much. There hasn't been much happening in the past week or so. So I'm just going to cover overall basically what I've been interested in, what's caught my attention in the past week. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Starting out with the first bit of news, we just got our first look at the extended trailer of season four of The Flash, which offers some new footage of The Flash. This trailer pretty much follows up with what happened towards the end of The Flash season three. For those of you who remember, Barry left and went into the Speed Force. HR died and pretty much there's no actual Flash. We have Wally West taking the mantle of the Flash by wearing the red costume. Crime picks up again and the whole team isn't willing to accept that Barry Allen is dead. We see that Iris doesn't want to bring Barry back, but not in a way where she doesn't want to because she doesn't feel like it, but it's coming from more of a lover's point of view. You know, someone close to you dies, you'd basically want to move on because dwelling in loss can have some health implications and that's how Iris is looking at it whilst everyone else doesn't want to believe that Barry Allen is dead and they believe that they can bring him back rebirth style. So it's obvious that Barry comes back with his memory being a bit fuzzy so it's going to take some time getting used to the way things were for Barry. He comes back full beard mode. I'm really excited for this. I'm definitely looking forward to the start of The Flash Season 4. Let me know what are your theories. Do you think they're going to borrow elements from Flash Rebirth and DC Universe Rebirth? Sounds pretty exciting to me. Can't wait to see it. Up next, we've just been updated with the status of the Joker and Harley Quinn film. Now, personally, I don't think we need a Joker and Harley Quinn film, but it seems that since both the Joker and Harley Quinn are very popular characters, it makes sense to make a film about the two since they're very bankable. But a few weeks back, it was announced that Glenn Ficarra and John Rikua were in talks to write, direct, and produce an upcoming Joker and Harley Quinn film starring Jared Leto and Margot Robbie reprising their roles. This wouldn't be the first time Robbie would be teaming up with the directors since she's worked with them in other films like Focus and Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, which were both giving mixed reviews, with Whiskey Tango Foxtrot receiving better reviews. So I guess it'll be okay. It's also rumored that the film will be totally similar to 1994's Psychos and Love classic, Natural Born Killers. If you don't know that film, it's a classic film. It's got Woody Harrelson, Robert Downey Jr., Tommy Lee Jones, and Juliette Lewis in it. Just to get an idea of what the movie's going to be like, it's most likely going to be a crazy, violent, bloody, and over-the-top kind of film. Like, Natural Born Killers sparked so much controversies and copycat murders throughout the 90s, so much so that this film was part to blame for the Heath High School shootings and, of course, the Columbine High School massacre. So we can only hope that this film doesn't go in that direction. At least not as intense, but it'd probably be DCEU's first rated R film since it seems to suit a character like the Joker. So let me know what you think of a possible R-rated Joker film. Would it work? Would you like to see Joker to his full psychopathic potential? Let me know in the comments section below. In other Flash-related news, gosh, Flash is getting a lot of attention in this episode. Ezra Miller, the actor who will be playing The Flash in the upcoming Justice League movie and Flash films in the DCEU, confirms that there will be no Flash ring. Now, before I get into more detail, I just want to say, I'm not so much of a fan of The Flash's costume in this film. It looks really complicated, you got a lot going on here with this suit, and it looks like a Power Ranger suit. Besides, it doesn't look like it would fit snug in a ring. Not that an actual suit can fit in a ring, but you know what I mean? So far from what I saw, I like the human that Ezra Miller's Flash delivers at least, and I definitely want to see more. To add more to the topic, Ezra Miller says that, and I quote, I can confirm, spoiler alert, his suit does not pop out of a ring in the movie. Star Ezra Miller tells EW, things have to progress, you know? Original Barry Allen was clearly an incredibly, incredibly clever scientist. We acknowledge and respect that. Miller also added that they wanted to apologize for the ring thing. Yeah, if the guys at Warner Brothers clearly acknowledges and respects Barry Allen's intelligence, they gladly put the ring in the film to further prove that they have respect for the character, not take it away. He then went on to add, I know the ring is the coolest thing about the DC Universe. Not really, there's so many other cool things about it, but yes, uh, the ring is really cool. It was a little hard for us to sell in this version of this universe right now. DC, listen to me. Hey, are you listening? You better cut that shit out, start respecting your fans, and give us the DC films we deserve, damn it. So yeah, no Flash Ring. What do you guys think of that? Does it bother you? Are you Flash fans? Do you even care? Let me know. Last but not least, told you, this is going to be a very short one. Netflix released an amazing, epic, brutal trailer for The Punisher. Metallica Punisher, as I like to call it. 
They both go hand in hand like bread and butter. So if you're familiar with Metallica and their style of music, me personally, I'm a huge metal fan. Go figure, and I love Metallica. The song you hear in the trailer is called One from Metallica. One of the greatest Metallica songs of all time from the And Justice For All album. It's classic 80s Metallica. The moment I heard the first note, I was in complete awe and immediately knew what song was playing. I'll leave an annotation on my reaction video at the end of this video so you can see me go crazy for this trailer. The main reason why this trailer goes so well with Metallica's One is because this is a song about the hardships and horrors of war and it seems very appropriate for a character like the Punisher. It's very relevant and I hope to hear this song in a shooting sequence in the series. Just listening to the lyrics alone from One like Darkness imprisoning me, all that I see, absolute horror, I cannot live, I cannot die, trapped to myself, just all these terrible things that happen to soldiers when they come home. And that's exactly what the Punisher is all about. Some people might be confused as to why we see Frank's wife being shot in his own home because if you remember in Daredevil Season 2, Frank kept sitting in that merry-go-round ride in the park where his family was killed. So this scene here is most likely due to PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder for short, which can have several side effects, bad dreams, hallucinations, hearing things that aren't there. It's very damaging and can have serious health implications in the long run. It could possibly be a retcon, hopefully not though, but we'll see where it goes from there. And as for the release date, still remains unknown, but as I said before, I'm shooting for, pun intended, November 11th, Veterans Day, or if not the latest, November 10th, which is a Friday. So yeah. We'll have to wait and see. I love the look of the costume and the gear that the Punisher is sporting. The action scenes look amazing and well choreographed. You can tell a lot of time has been spent to make sure that this show looks good. I can't wait for this show. It's going to be awesome and probably the best version of the Punisher yet. Maybe even the best series out of all the Marvel Netflix series? Who knows? So yeah, quite a bit going on. Don't worry, I'll have more complicated news videos coming up soon. I just have to wait for the news to come out so I can write about them. All right, everyone, that's it for this past week. Let me know down below what you're most excited for. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next comic panel.